man has described himself in many ways. But if we concentrate on man in relation to his control over his environment, no description is more apt than the description of man as a tool-making animal. And in the short history of mankind, the majority of the tools which man has made can be thought of as an extension of his muscle power. That is, the ability to perform work faster and in greater quantity. However, in the mid-1940s of the 20th century, a different kind of tool was invented. A tool for extending certain of the powers of man's mind. This tool is the electronic computer. reliable and tireless performance of a variety of arithmetic and logical operations that gives the computer its great utility and power. But merely looking at a computer won't tell us very much about what it actually is doing. Neither will this tell us anything about the revolutionary material and intellectual effects of such machines. We can easily see the material and intellectual effects of, say, machines for transportation. We know that the modern jet aircraft represents a great increase in speed over the earliest aircraft. We also know that modern airplanes have made the world smaller and changed our way of thinking about ourselves and our world. And future means of transportation will bring even more rapid and radical changes. But even the difference between the speed of an ox cart and the fastest rocket is small when compared with the difference in speed between calculation by hand and calculation by computer. We hardly need to be reminded that we live in a world that is becoming more complicated and more crammed with information every day. One description for this vast quantity of data on everything from the lifetime earning records of an individual to the beeps and pulses relayed to Earth from a space satellite uses that overworked word, explosion. This time, an information explosion. The computer is an invaluable tool for processing these millions of bits of information in accurate, fast, and economical fashion, in accordance with rules and instructions provided by the human program. If there is any mystery in the computer revolution, let's be sure that the mystery is located in the right place. In spite of its magnetic memory, complex circuitry, and so on, the mystery is not in the machine. The sense of awe and mystery that we may experience when we see a computer in operation is really awe at the accumulated months and years of thinking by human problem solvers reflected back to us at fantastic speed. A computer scientist once remarked that we have machines that compute with the speed of light but with the intelligence of the earthworm. While it is true that the computer can be called a kind of brain, although a very limited one, in order to solve any problem, the computer must first be instructed by a human programmer who has painstakingly and logically analyzed the problem. The computer is then given the problem in the form of numbers or instructions pertinent to arithmetic. It is the arithmetic logical task that the computer is organized to do. Once instructed, it can do as much arithmetic in a minute as a man in a lifetime. A man in a lifetime. The lifetime of all mankind is but a brief moment in the long history of this earth of ours, and only yesterday in the history of mankind has man made any significant advance in his control over his earthly environment. Computers, machines for logic, may change this more than any other of man's inventions. These machines, which have been with us less than a millionth of a second in terms of the temporal span of man's history, have already given promise of deep and far-reaching change in our way of life and way of thinking. They literally accelerate into milliseconds of time our ability to perform logical, arithmetic, and control tasks. But finally, the future, except in terms of trends and probabilities, is the great unknown. And the uses to which we put ourselves in relation to the marvelous machines of our own invention 
is perhaps the central moral and intellectual challenge of our own brief moment in time.